This is a demonstration of interoperability between ESChat and P25 via an ISSI interface. For this demonstration, we have a Sonom XP5, a Sonom XP7, an iPhone 6 Plus, and a Tate radio, which is connected as part of a Tate P25 Phase 2 trunking system. The ISSI interface is used to connect the P25 network and the ESChat network together. Now, ESChat supports calling in a one-to-one -one fashion and also an ad hoc fashion. It also supports group calling as well as messaging, which includes text and images, live location tracking and mapping, as well as historical or breadcrumb tracking. ESChat ad hoc calls are done from the contact list where we can select one or multiple contacts. Here, I've selected both other LTE devices so I can start a call, which will be a three-way call just between my LTE users. Now, the ESChat system supports caller ID, so while within call, we'll see the talker on top of the list of users. Or, for devices that do support live location display, we can look at the map view of the call and we can see who, where our call participants are as well as who's talking. We'll go ahead and end that call. Now when you connect the ESChat LTE system together via ISSI, we now have the ability to do one-to-one -one and group calling between LTE and P25. So here are some examples of doing one-to-one -one calls. Now we can initiate from either the LTE or the P25 side of the network. I'll go ahead and select the P25 radio on the iPhone. I'll select radio one and press push to talk. The P25 radio rings indicating there's an incoming call. We answer it by holding the push to talk button and our call is now connected. Talker IDs are shown similarly, so you see the P25 user is talking when he keys, and you'll see the LTE user on the radio when he keys. Private calls can also be initiated from the radio side of the network. They can be done in a couple of different ways. Individual calls can be selected through a menu. You can select your recipient from a list, or you can simply dial the radio ID of the user. In this case, we'll dial the XP5, which has a radio ID of 5010, and press call. We can answer the call on the ES chat side. And now we're in a private call, again, between one LTE device and the P25 system. Go ahead and end that call. Now, group calling from ESChat is initiated from the ESChat group list. Uh, we can view it on all devices. We have a talk group, uh, talk group 2001, which has all ESChat devices plus our uh, P25 devices. So we can go ahead and start that call up. Now we've got a full call between our entire network. Um, we can key up on the P25 side or the LTE side. And again, the devices that do have location mapping capability will show the location of the users. In real time, this map is updated every two seconds. Now, initiating group calls on the radio side uh, is as you would expect it. On a trunked P25 system, the rotary dial selects the talk group that you're looking to call. So here with the rotary dial set to 2001 and this call is now ended, we can go ahead and initiate a new call from the radio side by just holding the press to talk button. And now we've reestablished our group call from the radio side.
So that's a demonstration of some of the capability when interfacing LTE ES chat to P25 via ISSI. If you have any questions, please call us or check our website at www.eschat.com.